Hey, welcome back to The Filmmaker's Formula, your shortcut to creative filmmaking. I'm Kevin, and today is Experimental Friday. I've been trying to learn more 3D stuff lately, and it's been a challenge. I'm in a level of learning where I'm going through tutorials that's approximately what I want to learn, but not exactly what I need. So that's frustrating. But as soon as I learn it, I'll be sure to translate it to you. Before we properly learn how to make and composite 3D models in your videos, we're going to learn how to fake it like this. What we will be doing today is essentially making our own stock footage. So if you need to levitate an object or um, hover a gizmo, this video should help you. Now there are some limitations to this technique, such as the lighting of your object needs to match the lighting of your footage. Whatever movements you want to do to your object needs to be done in camera because there are no easy ways to manipulate the object once we are in our editing program. But if you're desperate to incorporate some 3D in your video, this should work in a pinch. To keep this relatively simple, let's just focus on a simple product rotation for this video. Because our objects are going to be small, you don't have to bust out your big green screen. Something like this post from Target would do. But since I have a green room, that's where I'll be conducting this experiment. Actually, I'm already there. You will be needing some of these common household items. A hammer, a nail, some wire, and a bag of lentils. After lighting the green screen and your product of choice, you want to try to suspend the product in the air. So find a stable place to hang your wire and try your best to attach the other end of the wire to your object without it showing too much. I'm gonna use this instead. After securing your object, let it swing or sway in whatever motion you want. For our purposes, a simple spin will suffice. When you get something that you're satisfied with, it's time to go back to the computer. Ow! In Premiere, key out the green screen and mask out the lines. We've covered these techniques in the past, so be sure to check out some of the older videos. Now all there is left to do is to put our footage in a background and reveal your object in a creative manner. I always like to add a scale and a poof to my objects and if done correctly you'll have some low budget 3d objects hope you guys like that video i always try to cover something new on fridays so if there's something you'd like me to experiment with be sure to let me know leave any questions you have for me in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer them if you like the video share it with somebody else you think might enjoy it until the next video look i made myself into a 3d object